God has promised to meet every single one of your needs. He wants to bear all your burdens and he cannot allow you to continue being in want. Be of good cheer and refuse to be anxious about anything. The God of supply is at work and he will fill every void in your life, meeting you at every point of your needs. He has never failed and he will not start now. Your case is not any different from people of old. So be encouraged. There is no need that the Lord cannot meet. Just name it. There is not a single need that is above the power of God to supply. So you can be at rest knowing that God will supply all your needs. That is the word you need to hold on to today. When someone makes a promise to you, the first thing you want to consider is the person making that promise. Now, let us look at the one who has promised to meet all of your needs. Just how much does he have in his store to be able to supply every need? How big is he? Can he meet every need as he has promised? Well, to clear every doubt in your mind, let us go through the scriptures. Psalm 24 verse 1 says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness of it, the world and they who dwell in it. The Lord owns all of the earth, including everything inside of it. As long as what you need lies within the confines of this world, the Lord has it in store. Is it money or wealth? Haggai 2 verse 8 says the silver is mine and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. So, money is not a problem for God. Do you need a promotion? Psalm 75 verse 6 through 7. For not from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south, come promotion and lifting up. 7. But God is the judge. He puts down one and lifts up another. We see that promotion is at the discretion of God. He promotes whomever he pleases. Do you trust God for the fruit of the womb? Psalm 127 verse 3 Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb a reward. Do you need peace and rest from all of life's troubles? He tells us to cast all of our cares on Him because He cares for us. The problem is sometimes with what we ask for. They are not really needed, but mere wants based on competition and unreasonable comparison. James 4 verse 1 through 3 says what leads to strife, discord and feuds. And how do conflicts, quarrels, and fightings originate among you? Do they not arise from your sensual desires that are ever warring in your bodily members? 2. You are jealous and covet what others have and your desires go unfulfilled, so you become murderers. To hate is to murder as far as your hearts are concerned. You burn with envy and anger and are not able to obtain the gratification, the contentment, and the happiness that you seek. So you fight and war. You do not have because you do not ask. 3. Or you do ask God for them, and yet fail to receive because you ask for the wrong purpose and evil, selfish motives. Your intention is when you get what you desire, to spend it in sensual pleasures. Do a check of those things you ask God for in prayer. Are they genuine needs or are they things you desire just to show off or so you could fit in? If God gives you wealth, will you use it for His purposes to help the poor and needy, to liberate people from poverty and empower as many as you can? Or would you use it to oppress others around you? If God gives you children, would you train them to be good and godly? Or would they become a nuisance to the world and the society where they find themselves? 
God is concerned about the motive for wanting those things you ask for. He is not limited by anything or anyone. He can supply all your needs, but your motive has to be pure. He wants to be sure that whatever resources He gives to you is properly managed and used to expand the kingdom of God. Beyond stopping the mouth of those mocking you, God wants your desires to be channeled in the right direction. You will see the God of supply giving you all that you need and ask for. Stop looking to get help from men because they will only end up failing you. Your help can only come from God and unless He has placed it in a man's heart to bless you, there is a little anybody can do. Have confidence in the supply of God. His store can never run out any time or day. His blessings are overflowing and they can never end. Just as His mercies are new every morning, so are his supplies. Have no fear because God will meet your daily needs. Psalm 68 verse 19 says, Blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits, the God of our salvation. Do not be anxious about what tomorrow might bring. God has taken care of it already. Just look up to him as your provider. He is Jehovah Jireh. He has never failed and he will not start now. As the need crops up, you will see them being met. Do not be concerned about what you have in your hands now. Do not look at the physical state of things around you. You are not defined by the government or economy of this world. Your supply comes from a supernatural source where there is no famine, drought or scarcity. There is abundance and a plethora of wealth there. No matter what you need or want, God has it. This is a place where you can have it all. You do not have to wait for a restock or be disappointed because you cannot find what you need. The God of supply has a constant supply of everything you need, even beyond physical things. He can give you power, spiritual gifts, wealth, riches, honor, long life, prosperity, intelligence, health, joy, strength, a beautiful marriage, faith, health, and any other thing you desire. You just need to rely on His strength and believe in His power to provide those things. And why would not God supply those things? He is our Father and we are His children. Even with the best our parents do for us here on earth, it is nothing compared to what our Heavenly Father has done and will do. If He could give up His only begotten Son for our sakes, what more would He not give us? Having established His ability to supply our needs, we now see His willingness to meet those needs. The Lord is your shepherd, and as the good shepherd that He is, you will not suffer lack or be in want of anything good. Psalm 23 verse 1 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. This is the summary of the whole thing. Since God is your shepherd, you will not suffer lack in any form. Verse 2 says, He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. That means He will cover your physical needs just as Jesus Christ said in Matthew 6 verse 25. Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink or about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Your shepherd has got that end covered for you. He will supply your feeding clothing and shelter. Is that not one of the basic needs of humans? God is supplying those things to you. Finally, you should be at rest and have a strong faith in God. He is working on all your needs and soon you will see the manifestation. Remove all doubts from your mind. Be expectant. Stay positive 
and God will surely supply your needs. You will have riches, health, wealth, and everything you could ever need. God will come through for you.